Good morning YouTube, what's going on? This is Anam's End and today I do have a few new tutorials for you. So as you may remember I did this video about the Dwarven Village and right now you're looking at three building buildings from there and there's also a tower over there behind the hill. And we are going to build all of them. And we will start with the smallest one which should be the easiest hopefully because I can't really remember how I, I've built it. So um, we'll go over here where I have made this pattern into the floor and since dwarf, dwarf, dwarven people use a lot of stone I did that as well. So we're going to build all the pillars out of um, stone brick and this is where the entrance is going to be. So we put a pillar here and here and leave a gap of three. Then we go one to the back and place two pillars there. Then we go three to the right and three to the left. And then we go five to this side here and place blocks between there as well. And same thing on the other side, of course. And we will also extend it a little bit to this side. And on the back, we're just going to place plus every three blocks. So once we've done that, we're going to grab the normal stone place one block here, one block here, and then we'll just go around like this, I think, or I hope. And yes, I am still right. And then we take the cobblestone wall and place it on top of the stone. And once we have that, we're going to make the pillars a bit higher. So we will extend Hell. Uh, that was weird. We're going to extend those two at the entrance by two blocks so that they are three blocks high in general and the other pillars should all be five blocks high so we need to add four more blocks. Yep, that's right. And I will just skip this part because it's not really interesting. Right, once you have that it should look somehow like this. And then we're going to add in a floor. So we take the um, stone slabs and place a half block here at the first big pillar. And then we're going, just going to fill up everything between there like this. So it should be one block above the ground level. And now we take the stone brick half slabs and place one here and here so that the um, cobblestone wall just like this and it should be at this level and um, between the other pillars we're going to go two blocks higher so on this level here and we will go all the way around this thing with the uh, stone break half slab um, even on this side here and this is already our base for the um, roof we are going to build in a minute so the uh, stones uh, stone stairs sh uh, the wooden stairs should be on this level later but before we do that we're going to make these or we build these um, feet I really don't know how to describe them uh, so we go up two blocks on these sides here not on this extended bit here but here and on the back side everywhere where a uh, pillar is. And on this side as well. And one on this side and just ignore the entrance with that. Then we take the um, stairs, place one on top of that and one on the floor. And then do that with every pillar facing the inside of the building. So now we are ready to start with the roof and we will start with the entrance because this is going to be the smallest roof. As I've said, the stairs are going to be on top of the half slabs. So they should be here and these stone things, I always build them one block higher than the um, wooden stairs. Um, <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. So this is the stone stair and the wooden stair is one block lower. And that's a basic rule which I used for all the Dwarven buildings that I made. 
So we'll just go up diagonal and in the middle we are going to place an upside down stair and a normal stair on top of that. And now you can simply place the wooden stairs one block lower than the stone stairs. And a half slab here. So now we will make um, this part here because this one's a little bit easier. So we will again go up diagonal like this or like so and then come on. We're going to add another upside down stair and this time we will place the stair on top um, the other way around just because it looks a bit nicer I think. And we do this thing um, between all these pillars here. So I will uh, continue with this one here. Because this one is a little bit different and I'll also make it time, day. Um, now, when once we are um, facing these sides, we'll just extend the pillars by two blocks. So everything should fit here. Then again, we're going to place another upside down stair and a normal stair on top of that. And now we can um, place a diagonal thing with stairs against this pillar here. So one stair here, one stair, one upside down stair here and a stair on top of that. And the same thing on this side, of course, as well. And then we can um, place wooden stairs between this here. So again, one block lower than the stone stairs and place three stairs in general so that it fits up with this upside down stone stair here. Um, I know that the roof is a little bit difficult but I hope that you get this, um, that you get how it's done. Um, so I will make once again this uh, diagonal thing here. And this time we're going to place just a half slab in the middle. Well, actually two half slabs, so one here and one on top of that. And then we're just going to do the same thing on this side here. And then we could start with the roof, but before that I will try to make this side here a little bit more beautiful. So, um, let me just think of something that could fit maybe... Just maybe... I can't really remember how I did this in the original. I think I did something like this. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, maybe like this. Maybe with something... I don't know. Just get something in there that makes... Uh, so that you don't have an open gap here. Now for the roof again. As I've said quite a few times already, the wooden stairs are going to be one block lower than the stone stairs, so we will add them here. And you can, um, well it's quite easy if you place the first row here on top of the half slabs and then you can place them against these upside down stairs here. So that way you shouldn't have problems with the roof. And now let me just add in these two gaps here. So that I can show you how to make this um, top part here. And by the way, this should be quite easy as well because we've placed the half slab here and just placed the wooden stairs on top of that. And this should fit because here is a half slab. So if you forget this, you get a little um, gap here. So make sure that there is a half slab as well. Now for the top, we're going to, or we could just take the half steps and fill it up like this but I will make it a little bit more interesting by adding stairs which are facing the um, half slab in the middle and once we have that we are already done I guess so let me just take a look at the whole building uh, yes that looks okay I think I haven't forgotten anything, so let's take a look at this building here. Mmm, looks quite the same. So, um, yeah, that was the first tutorial about the Dwarven-styled houses. Um, in the future tutorials, I will build this bigger one here, and this tower, and this tower as well. 
And I will rebuild this tower on the other side so we can make a little bridge connecting them. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and goodbye.